Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up a static IP address uh, for your virtual machine on uh, on libvirt, libvirt, kvm, vert manager and kimo, all of these combined. Um, the thing is, I have been trying to set up a static IP address for my VMs many times. I tried to do it and always there was a bug that um, troubled me so I just had to create a video for to remind myself how to do it in the future uh, and also hopefully to help some of you so okay so you have a server and it's running on okay 192.168.122.157 and you want a static IP now depending on what, if you want it to be accessible on your network or not you might have to change some things but in my case I just need needed to be accessible on my host computer so um, yeah see what you can do for yourself if you want it to be accessible on the whole network but okay um, let's start so first you have to go to your VM and go here on the network card and okay then create a network okay you create a network whatever um, lab network I will call it mode NAT you can put other modes whatever you want forward to any physical device I will set up IPv4, IPv6, and DNS. I guess we don't need. It should be fine. And yeah, I cannot create it because I'm already using this, um, this what do you call this mask. So I'm going to put one that I'm not using, zero, I think 16, I am not using. Yeah, 16, I am not, okay. So now the start address is at dot sixteen one two eight and it ends at two eight four. Okay, so I now this network can have about a hundred hosts, which is pretty good for me. And now if you wanna add a device to this network, you would have to go here and add it to it. Okay, lab network, like so. But this will just add it here. So now, like, if you fetch the address, um, now it fetches the wrong address, but um, on boot, it will fetch it, the correct one because it's still running with the old network. But yeah, um, the thing is, it's still running DHCP and it will probably fetch a, dyna like a dynamic IP. Sometimes it might change, sometimes maybe not. So you have to put here a a line for this host uh, for this host that you want to set a static IP for and this line specifically will be host Mac and then insert the Mac of the uh, of the machine which should be here I'm just gonna copy it okay and then put the name which is in my case ULab the name of the of your um, of your VM and then the last one IP which you want to use in this case 10 0 16 1 2 130 it's a nice round um, IP I guess round I don't know I the last for the last three dig digits but yeah make sure it is in this um, range because then obviously what the what's what's the point of it um, and yeah okay then you just click apply but the po the problem that I was facing is exactly this that after you click apply it just goes back to what it just disappears bro like what the fuck um so that was an issue because it bugged me really like a lot and I wasn't sure what the problem was so um for this you have to use I, I, I think this is just a bug of work manager I hope it is because then I don't know <laughs> it's not really clear what is happening here and I really hate this bug but okay one thing you can do is go to Versh and okay get the network list um, you need to have a good, a good permissions for this you need to be a good so yeah you type Versh and net edit um, and then the name of the network in question lab network and if we go down here you can see okay it's changed it but the thing is it doesn't show show it here so I'm not really sure if it, if the changes will apply to the VM once we restart it so um, 
to actually show the changes inside of here you have to put verge net destroy lab network and then net start lab network this will just this basically restart the network it's the same as doing this stop network and then delete not to delete sorry stop network and then start network it's basically the same it should be the same so yeah now you can see that the changes change changes here and we can ladies and gentlemen just start the vm and it should be good to go now as you can see i'm logging in and now if we do ip addr it has that ip as you can see meaning that i can now go into my etsy hosts folder a hosts file and put here something like oh yeah, i have to be root Fair. uh put in like 10 0 16 what if we set 130 and put a host name to it like ulab and uh, shit i think i missed okay never mind i, I did not okay um now we can just SSH into it, uh, user and ulab, and it will just have a static IP and, you know, it will be nice. So yeah, that's usually for whenever you have servers running, like on your, well, whatever, like local VMs. In my case, it could be, a, it, it is a SSH server, and that's mostly it, so yeah. Okay, that was it for this video, hopefully it was educational hopefully it helped and yeah catch you guys later